Hey guys, I'm Leo Mendes and today I have a new video. I got on my mesa de prueba the Voltage Multistage of Verbos Electronics, a pretty interesting model that is regularly used as an 8-step sequencer. But the interesting thing about having a multistage model is that we can store different voltage in different positions, and in that way we can turn this model into different things. For example, a low frequency oscillator, also an envelope generator, and even a wave shaper. So, if you want to know more about this model, acompáñenme a ver el siguiente video. For several years now, I've been following the work of Verbos Electronics and their models are fantastic. The build quality and the feeling is just delicious. They even remind me kind of a helicopter panels or some military equipment. Another interesting detail about the Verbos Electronic work is that much of their models has a deep connection with the Bukla system, which is why I find them perfect if you want to enter to the East Coast systems. The Voltage Multistage has a very particular layout. In the upper part we have the individual gate outputs in addition to the dedicated gate output. Another fun thing is that we have different switches that helps us to turn off the steps and also to generate the lights, which we will see in a couple of minutes. In the next section we have two 8-stage voltage rows. We have the row A, the row B, and we have outputs corresponding to each of the rows. On the right side we have a dedicated knob that controls the speed on the sequence and also we have four buttons with pretty interesting functions. The gray button starts the sequence, the red button stops the sequence, the next white button advances between each of the stages, and the last white button, known as a strobe, helps us to jump between the different positions of the stages according to the value of this knob. On this same section, we have a voltage control input to choose the position of our stages, and we also have a voltage control input to define the time of our sequence. Finally, we have the sustain input that allows us to choose the position of the sustain between these stages, and this works perfect when we use the voltage multistage as an envelope generator. To get rid of, of the most basic part, which is to use the model as an 8-step sequencer, I want to explain it in a very simple way. What we will do is send gate information and control voltage to the MOOC workstat. The gate output in red is connected to the gate input on the workstat. The CV output in gray is connected to the exponential FM input on the workstat oscillator. When we press the gray button, the sequence starts. Now, each of these sliders will define the pitch of the workstat. The white switches have different functions, one of them is to turn off different stages. If we move the position of the switch completely upwards, we will have a voltage slide known as a glissando. The first alternative function I want to show you is to use the voltage multistage as a low frequency oscillator. To show you the control voltage movement, I have my oscilloscope already connected and the control voltage output is sending pitch information to the workstat. If we tweak the slides, we will see a change on the control voltage graphic. Now, to be able to hear this change, we need to open the VCA on the workstat. <laughs> 
The interesting part about this is that when we start our sequence, we can send different voltage values to the oscillator, and we will have different pitches as it will be in any sequencer. We can actually see this action on the oscilloscope. Now let's move the time knob to have a faster waveform. And the best of all is that if we move the switches to the slide position, we can smooth the shape of the waveform. Now I'm going to arrange the sliders a little bit so that they look like a triangular waveform, as close as possible, and we want to listen to their action into the workstat. Now let's try to make a sawtooth waveform with the slides. Finally, the ramp is very similar, only backwards. Now, based on the same theory, we can use other sliders to generate more interesting waveforms. In this case, we will use another Verbos Electronics model, known as Amp and Tone. In it, we have two parts, a filter section and an amplifier section, and if you want to know more about this model, please write into the comments. Now, we're going to send the control voltage output to the Amp and Tone input. Then, we need to open up the amplification and we need to start the voltage multistage. If we want to hear this waveform, we need to turn the time knob completely to the left, then achieving audible range. The maximum cycle speed that we achieve using a voltage offset is about 40 Hz, which corresponds to E1. So now, let's audition the voltage multistage as an oscillator. Now, we're going to adjust the values of the sliders to generate different waveforms. If we move some switches to the on position, we can also achieve different types of timbers. A good trick that we can achieve with the strobe function is to make smaller cycles and therefore reach higher pitches. Let's do it. First, let's send the strobe output to the stage number 5. Now, this knob will allow us to jump between the stages and in this way we will have higher notes.
For example, let's audition a 4-stage waveform. In this last part, we're going to use the voltage multistage as a multistage envelope. We must remember that acoustic envelopes are usually multistage. And what does this mean? Well, on synthesizer we usually find attack, decay, sustain, and release. But in nature, the envelopes are a little bit more complex. In order to mimic nature, multistage envelopes usually have multiple times as well as different amplitude values. The patch is pretty straightforward we're sending the works that oscillator to the amp and tone on this ray cable. Also, we're using the red cable to send control voltage information to the amplifier section in the amp and tone. Finally, we're sending the last gate output to the stop input, and this means it will only cycle once and then stop on the last step. Let's move the sliders a little bit to create a triangle, and that will be the shape of the envelope. When we press the start button, we will hear the sound. Now we're going to move the sliders and we're going to create another type of envelopes, in this case with multiple values. And the best part of all of this is that the trigger can come from any controller that sends analog gates. And the cherry on the top is that we can choose the stage where we want the sustain section. Now let's use the gate output 4 and send it to the sustain input. When we press a key, it will remain sustained on the stage number 4. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Yo soy Leo Mendes y nos vemos a la próxima.